Magandang gabi po sa lahat ng nandito. Bigyan natin ng papuri at pagsamba ang Panginoon. Amen. Truly God is great and truly God is awesome. Amen. So maraming salamat sa Panginoon dahil patuloy tayong ipinagtitipon sa gabing ito para papurihan at bigyan siya ng um, pasasalamat. Amen. So sa ating mga nanonood, um, welcome sa ating midweek service. Welcome to... The Christ Living God Church. Amen. So, mapapanood niyo po kami every Thursday um, for our midweek and Sunday for our Sunday service. So, um, live po kami on Facebook and YouTube. Amen. So, let's continue um, na magbigay ng papuri sa Panginoon. Let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you and we glorify your name. Truly, Lord God, na um, napakabuti mo. Napakabuti mo sa bawat isa. Napakabuti mo sa mga tao na patuloy na nagtatrust sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, you never fail, Panginoon. Ang mga tao na, na nagpupuri at dumadakila sa iyo, na, nag, na nagtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, sa gabing ito, patuloy ka naming niluluwalhati, patuloy ka naming um, binibigyan ng kapurihan. And um, ikaw lamang, Panginoon, ang tangi mataas sa gabing ito. Let your word... Um, Uh, magkaroon ng revelation sa buhay ng bawat isa na patuloy naming um, maintindihan, O oh Lord God. Patuloy ka naming ma makilala, O oh Lord God, sa biblical at malalim na pamamaraan, Panginoon. Lord, maraming maraming salamat sa gabing ito at ikaw ang magbigay. Uh, let your um, presence, O oh Lord God, be in this place, O oh Lord God. And as we continue to give glory to you, O oh Lord God, let the songs, O oh Lord God, na aming Um, kakantahin na aming ibibigay sa iyo, O Lord God, ay maging sa iyong um, alay, O Lord God, sa paanan mo. Lord, maraming maraming salamat. Ibinab- binibigay namin ang mataas na papuri at pagsamba sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. 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 So, gabing, sa gabing ito, malaya tayong sasayaw at kakanta. Amen? Dahil um, pinalaya na tayo ng Panginoon. Amen? Amen. So,
tabat ako'y pinalaya Ang karanet ng ang kalungkutan Ay pinawigan ng lubos At kapangyarihan ng Diyos Ay ating naranasan Malayang sumigaw Malayang sumayaw Malayang lumunda Pangyarihan ng Diyos ay ating nararanasan. Amen. So, dun po sa mga hindi nakarinig or ano, but um, our hearts is filled ngayon kasi in one of the testimony talagang we are all blessed sa kapangyarihan ng Panginoon na pinararanas niya sa bawat isa na, na, na nandito. And even sa mga tao na nanonood, I know that God is pouring out His power sa buhay ng bawat isa. And we continue to trust His um, ang Panginoon. Patuloy nating bigyan ng papurihan ng Panginoon. And as we continue to give glory and as we continue to give honor sa ating Panginoon, this songs is, Lord, here we are to worship. Kasi worshiping you, you designed us in worshiping you. Amen. So sa gabing ito, patuloy nating papurihan, patuloy nating bigyan ng kagalakan ng Panginoon. Amen.
sabi nga nung, sabi sa kanta, we will never know how much it costs to see our sin upon that cross. So hindi natin alam talaga what is the cost of God's life. Amen? Yung sabi, once you worship God, yung paano ka, kung paano mo i-worship ang Panginoon is gaan doon mo mababatay kung gaano mo siya kakilala. Amen po ba? Kasi hindi mo i-worship ang isang tao kung hindi mo siya kilala. ba? Diba? Parang right now, as we worship God, gaano mo siya kakilala? Gaano mo ka alam kung sino ang Panginoon sa buhay mo? Amen? And tonight, i-worship mo ang Panginoon, ibigay mo yung papuri na karapat dapat sa Kanya sa lahat ng ginawa niya sa buhay mo. Lord, here we are worshiping you. Lord, here we are ready to worship you because we know, oh Lord God, how good you are in our life. Lord, yung kabutihan mo, we know, Panginoon, yung mga kanta, the lyrics of the song, is not enough to give glory to you, Panginoon. But here in our life, Panginoon, we continue to trust you because yung cost na ibinigay nyo on that cross, the price that you have paid for our sin, the, the price that you have paid for our life, Panginoon, ay hindi matutumbasan ng good works namin, Panginoon. But we can, as we continue to glorify you, O Lord God, and as we continue to give honor to you, O Lord God, Lord, here we are, Panginoon. We will continue to worship you, Panginoon. continue to worship you, Panginoon. Not only in songs, O oh Lord God, but through our life, Panginoon, O oh Lord God. Lord, we continue to give glory, O oh Lord God, unto you, O oh Lord God. And as we continue to fully trust in you, you continue to work in us, O oh Lord God, through us and for us, Panginoon. Lord, ang tanging glory mo lamang ang makita sa buhay ng bawat isa. Lord, maraming maraming salamat. Ikaw ang patuloy namin pinupuri at dinadakila sa aming buhay sa gabing ito, Panginoon. Lord, we give you back all the glory, all the praises and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, magandang gabi po uli sa bawat isa. So, as we continue to learn about the topic for this month is about fruitfulness. Amen? So this is the last week um, na makakarinig tayo about fruitfulness but it doesn't matter na we stop being fruitful. Amen? So sa gabing ito, 
Um, alam ko na ready-ready na ang ating speaker for tonight. So, without further ado, si Twinning. So, alam niya na. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, let's all give um, glory for the life of Sister Griselda. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. So, actually parang, ano na eh, from testimony pa lang ni Ate Presi from worship, parang sabi ko, oh, kailangan ko pa magturo kasi parang nasama rin na nila yung ituturo ko tonight. And, sobrang, alam mo yun, parang, pupunta ka talaga sa midweek. Um, may dala-dala tayo, di ba? But when you hear the testimony of other people, bali wala pala yung nararatan mo. Kasi mas matindi pala yung dinadanas ng mga kapatid natin. And salamat, it's good to see you, Ate Presi. And I know your life is a testimony to a lot of people. Yung pinagdaanan mo po ay hindi biro. So, glory to God for giving you another life. Parang another life talaga siya. Kasi dumaan talaga sa critical. So, Um, hindi ko na siya papahabay masyado introduction. We are in the um, topic of fruitfulness. So, um, Pastor George, Ate Esther, Kuya Kel have recently discussed about fruitfulness, ba? Diba? So, hindi ko na siya babalikan pa because this is like parang kadugsong lang siya or similar lang sa mga itinuro recently. So, kasi napag-usapin last time ni, ni, ni Brother Kiel is about the secret of being a fruitful Christian. Tama ba? you love and unselfishly seek the best for one another. Tayo muna ay sumaglit na manalangin. Hallelujah, Father God. I just want to thank you for tonight, Father God. Lord, I know, Father God, that you are moving in this place, Father God. Lord, alam ko, Father God, that you are the one being lifted in this place, Father God. Lord, tanging pangalang mo lang, Lord, ang itataas namin, Father God. And Lord, as you use me as your vessel, Father God, I humbly ask, Lord God, for your guidance, for your wisdom, Father God. Lord, apart from you, I admit, Lord God, that I cannot do anything, Father God. So, Lord, I pray, Lord God, for anointing, Father God. Lord, even sa mga kapatid ko tonight, who's even in their house, Father God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that they will open their ears, Lord God, their, their heart, Father God, na buksan nila, Father God, ang kanilang puso, Father God, na makapasok ang iyong mga salita, Father God. Lord, that this word, Lord God, manifest in their life, Lord God. We just want to thank you and honor you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. So, Bearing fruit during hard times. Naisip ko yun kag kagabi while I was studying. Ano. It's easy to bear fruits kung mad madali lang yung pinagdadaanan natin. Kung masaya tayo. Parang pagtatanim lang yan eh. They, the farmer know when to um, 
plant certain kind of halimbawa, vegetable or fruits, kung ano man season. Siyempre, ang like the, the like yung ubas, hindi naman yung tinatanim sa lugar na mainit. Pag sinabi, oy, meron sa Cebu. Pero tingnan mo yung lasa ng ubas sa Cebu compare sa ubas sa California. 'Di ba maasim ang ubas sa Cebu? 'Di ba? Kasi iba din yung plant, iba rin yung soil na pinag iba rin yung season or iba rin yung weather na pinagtataniman compare sa lugar na meron sa malamig which is applicable talaga siya sa lugar na malamig. 'Di ba? Even apples May, alam nyo ba sa Japan? Japan ang pinaka most expensive apple. Then I know ako about the most expensive apple. Yung Fuji, meron siyang certain Fuji na, na ang dami-dami, hitik na hitik yung bunga. Pero to gather this kind of fruit, parang tatanggalin niya pala yung mga prutas na pag tinignan mo, healthy naman. Masarap tingnan. Pero, Very limited lang pala yung talagang aalagaan nilang mabuti. Ganon sila magculture ng expensive apples sa, sa Japan. So, and may mga certain ways silang ginagawa para magka meron ng ganong klaseng bunga. ba? Diba? At may certain location, especially the location, na itatanim mo lang ang bunga na to. So, kapag binasa natin ito, I was... Ito yung idiniin sa akin ni Lord. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and I have appointed you and placed you purposely and planted you. So, there are certain part in our life na, Lord, tama ba yung pinuntahan ko? Tama ba yung naging decision ko? Tama ba na nandito ako? Actually, <laughs> naalala ko ito kagabi. Parang, parang, tinuturoan mo ako masyado mabuti sa sitwasyon ko ngayon, Lord. So, So that you would go and bear fruit and keep on bearing. Mananatili kang namumunga kapag nasa lugar na inappoint ka ng Panginoon. And that your fruit will remain and be lasting so that whatever you ask in the Father, in my name, He may give to you. So yung bungang yun, hindi siya yun talagang mabilis masira or mabilis mawala. Pero it will last. At ano yung sinasabi dito na hindi tayo mawawala? Tayo yun eh. When God planted a seed or word to our life, or tinanggap natin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating buhay, yun dapat tayo. Hindi tayo yung parang pagdinaan tayo ng unos o bagyo or trials ng buhay natin. Mabilis tayong nawawala sa puno, which is our God. He may give to you, sabi, this, this is what I command you, that you love and unselfishly seek the best for one another. So laging meron, pros and cons si Lord, or may, lagi may commandment si Lord kapag sinabi natin to. So sabi dito sa John 16.33, I have told you these things so that in my, that you may have peace in the world, you may have trouble, but take heart, you have open, overcome the world. Dahil sabi nga, bakit, pa, sabi ko nga, paano kaya mamumunga? Parang, paano ka magiging fruitful kapag nasa mahirap na sitwasyon ka? And hearing the testimony of Ate Presi, Nakita mo nyo, nakita nyo po yung fruit nyo. Yung faithfulness nyo, ni Ate Presi sa Panginoon. Dirip niya eh. And it, it create a great testimony. Kaya hindi lang ibig sabihin na dumadaan ka sa unos ng buhay mo. Na walang ginagawa si Lord. Pero God is creating a great testimony in each one's life. ba? Diba? Kasi ito po yung pinakamahirap. How can you praise God when you, we are in trouble. Especially, matin, mahirap po kasi ang pinakamahirap is magkasakit. Yung pera, pag nawalan ka, medyo bothered ka, pero at the, same, at, at the end of the day, it's still okay because you know that God provides. But when it, sickness come to your life, medyo mahirap. ba? Diba? When nandun na yung edge ng life mo na parang, ano ba, kukudin mo na ba ako, Lord? I don't know. I just trust you. And naalala ko ngayon lang you know, yung, yung testimony ng isang pastor maagang kinuha yung kanyang asawa. So, syempre kahit, mati, kahit malalim na naglilingkod sa Panginoon, pero dahil dumadaan yung asawa mo sa cancer, parang, Lord, bakit? 
Saan ako nagkulang? Ano yung pagkakamali namin? Pero you know what? Yung tao na nagsasuffer, yung asawa niya, ang sabi lang sa kanya, no, we don't have the right to question God. At the end of the day, si, si Lord lang yung may alam bakit tayo dumadaan dito. And na, na-post niya yun sa Twitter, wala na siya ngayon. Pero di ipinakita niya na even in the midst of trial, sabi nga nila, we will continue to praise the Lord. Kahit na doon na yung, yung bing, na doon ka na sa bingit ng kamatayan mo, patuloy pa rin ako maglilingkod sa'yo. Kasi ito yung bunga nila eh. Ito yung bunga nila kasi nakita nila kung gano'ng kalaki ang Panginoon sa buhay nila. So in John 15:18 said, In the world, if the world hates you, hindi ko masyado mabasa. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own and would treat you with affection. But you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. And because of the wor- and because of this, worlds hate you. Di ba po, kapag, di ba nung dati nasa mundo tayo, I mean, we're living in the life the world gives. Ang dami-dami natin kaibigan. Pero, nung tinanggap mo si Yeso Cristo, dumadating talaga sa tao yung may mga nagpe-persecute sa'yo, sa paniniwala mo. They will hate, not really hate. They will just question, bakit mo ginagawa yung isang bagay na yan? Other will really persecute. I mean, bless yung mga tao na madaling tinanggap sila sa pamilya nila. Sino po ba dito yung nakaranas ng persecution ng family? Amen. Lahat po ba kayo nakaranas ng persecution ng family? Kasi we are born talaga na, I mean, mostly we are born Catholic din naman talaga. And when you accepted Christ, um, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, we build a relationship to the Lord. And A lot of people will never understand this this kind of relationship with the Lord hanggat naranasan din nila yung bagay na yun. Kaya nga sinasabi, yung Kristiyano, no naging Kristiyano ka para kang nabaliw, di ba? Ikaw ba'y kasama sa alive alive? Yun ang word nila eh. Are you part of the alive alive? So mga panahon pa nila ano, hindi ko na i-mention. <laughs> so, but sabi nga Napakasarap kaya nang magpuri sa Panginoon, 'di ba? Napakasarap mag-devote ng times kay Lord. Kasi iba na in my own personal experience. Ano din ako eh, I mean, I live by my own. I mean, I live by my own strength. Pero nung nakilala mo si Lord, parang Lord, parang gusto mo na lang talagang mag-serve sa kanya. 'Yun na lang ako, I mean, may alam ko yung ate ko, matagal siya nag nagsisilbi sa Panginoon. And I always think na parang, para siya, dyan siya inappoint ni Lord. And I'm not appointed in that. But no, everyone is appointed to serve God. Because we are created with the purpose, which is to glorify and honor the Lord. So sabi nga dito, if we want to have what God says we can, we have to do what God tells us to do. At ano ba sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin? Or, If we want to have what God says we can, we must be willing to do what God says we are to do. Does it make sense? Sobrang tahimik nyo. Uulitin ko po. If we want to have what God says we have, we have to do what God tells us to do. And if we want to have what God says we can, we must be willing to do what God says we are to do. At madali po bang gawin lahat ng sinasabi ng Panginoon? Sometimes it hard. It's it's really hard. Sometimes we resist. Lord, sabi mo ba talaga to? Ikaw ba talaga to, Lord? Kasi yung flesh natin is weak nga. May mga gusto pa tayo sa sarili natin. And we don't want to surrender everything to the Lord. But ito yung sinasabi ni Lord eh. We give our life to the Lord. We surrender our life to the Lord. Then do the will of the Lord. Whatever it takes, do the will of the Lord. Kaya sabi dito, paano ba tayo magiging fruitful during hard times? Isip ko kagabi, paano nga ba? Kasi ang hirap talaga, ang hirap magstay sa presensya ng Panginoon, lalo pag may pinagdadaanan ka. Kaya mostly, kapag hindi ka talaga rooted sa Panginoon, pakikita mo na lang wala ka na. 
sinasabi na, teka sister, teka, teka brother, aalis mo na ako. Mag, uh, ano mo na ako. Um, ang tawag dito, alone time. Hindi mo alam sa pagiging alone time mo, malayo ka na rin sa Panginoon. Because you isolate yourself from others. You isolate yourself from the Lord. Walang solusyon na magagawa ang paglayo. Amen? May solusyon po ba ang paglayo? Ang solusyon sa lang sa paglayo, kaya, kaya tayo lumalayo, is because we also want to be a blessing to our family. Di po ba? Kaya tayo yan dito. God have planted us in this place in Cayman Island to be a blessing, but not to really to stay away from our family. Doon nga tayo lang mas nagiging close eh. Kasi isang call away lang <laughs> ang bilis nila. So, stay. Stay in the presence of the Lord. Even trials come, stay. Even persecution come, stay. Even you're in pain, stay. Pero bakit ganun? Parang isang snap pa lang ng kaaway, stay away na ang nangyayari. ba? Diba? Hindi stay eh. Hindi stay in, stay away na. Which is very true. I, we will not be hypocrite about this. Sometimes you just want to isolate yourself. Dahil, teka, pastor, may pinagdadaanan mo na ako. Hindi mo na ako aatay ng music. Hindi mo na ako aatay ng church. You stay away rather than really stay in the presence of the Lord. So ano, paano ba? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng stay? Number one, or letter S, in order for us to really um, overcome or be, still bear fruit during hard times, is study or spend time with God. Study God's Word or study the Bible. Kasi ito lang naman talaga yung pinaka-guidelines natin sa araw-araw. Ito rin yung sandata natin araw-araw. Sabi sa Psalms 1, 1-3, Bless is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of the sinner, nor sit in the seat of scoffer, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. And he will be like a tree firmly planted by stream of water which yield its fruit in its season. Its leaf does not wither and whatever he does, he prosper. Di po ba? Yung salita ng Diyos ay buhay. It's a double-edged sword. Kaya sabi sa, sa 2 Timothy 3, 16-17, All scripture is God's breath, used for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Tayo po ay servant ng Panginoon. And the, the only way we can be fruitful is to study the Word. Sabi nga, mag-start tayo ng habit. Kakabasa ko lang kanina, we start a habit of quiet time. Seven minutes, start with seven minutes. Then start with 15 minutes. Pero never neglect the time with the Lord. Kahit nga paggising mo sa umaga, nagpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. We utter prayer. When we're driving at naka-arrive tayo ng seat, Lord, thank you. Dahil iningatan mo kami. You always ta- spend time with the Lord. Dahil alam naman natin, we don't know what tomorrow brings. Si Lord lang may control ng buhay natin. He, he, he knows when to give and He knows when to take it away. So, ang hindi lang natin nagiging fear is because we know we have Him already in our life. We know where we're going because He already planted something in our heart and in our life. And it is the overflow. Ito yung magiging bunga natin. Hindi na natin magiging bunga yung takot. Kung hindi magiging bunga natin ay kagalakan. Hindi na natin magiging bunga ang discouragement, but magiging bunga natin ang encouragement. But when we are not reading the Bible, when we are not meditating on His Word, hindi tayo, sabi nga, we will always continue to be, hindi tayo magiging fruitful. We will be fretful. Puro reklamo. Tama po ba? Fruitful, We should be fruitful, not fretful. Puro reklamo, reklamo, reklamo. Pagising sa umaga, bet, Monday na naman. 
pagod na naman sa trabaho, stress na naman, makikita ko na naman yung boss ko. Pero hindi eh. A fruitful Christian wakes up in the morning happy. Because why? First, kakausapin mo si Lord, which is the highest God, the awesome God. Doon pa lang parang napupuno ka na. And wait, wait, hindi, dadaan ka pa rin talaga na sometimes you feel down. But when you come up to Him again, He will say things and encourage you. He will say in His Word. Kasi even ang mga kapatid natin, they will encourage you. They will lift you up. Pero later on the day, hindi pa rin eh. Si Lord pa rin talaga yung mag encourage sa atin. Naranasan ko recently yung parang sabi ko, Lord, parang tama ba yung, yung pinaglagyan mo sa akin, yung tinanggap ko. Pero habang nagdadrive ako, nakikinig ako ng podcast, sabi niya, stay where you planted and blossom where you are planted. So, is it by coincidence? Parang alis na alis ka na eh. Pero sabi ni Lord, stay where you are planted. Nung kinabukasan, nagde-devotion ka. Discouraged ka na naman. Pero sabi ni Lord, take heart. Wait for the Lord. And I said, wait for the Lord. Without those kind of words or na binibigay sa'yo ng Panginoon, how can you continue? How can you be fruitful? Dahil there's no one who can encourage you most kung hindi ang Panginoon lang. We think the life, the life of our brother and sister that encourages us. But the highest and author, perfecter of our faith is our Lord. And He's the one who is certain of what we have in the future. That's why we trust Him fully. Amen? So, when we delight in God's law and meditate on it, we bear fruit that we cannot possibly bear on our own. Kasi hindi naman talaga natin kaya baguhin ng ating mga sarili. It's only God that can transform us. The potential power of God's Word in our life is immeasurably and indescribable. Hindi natin talaga... So kaya nga sinabi, come to me, who um, seek me and you will find me if you will seek me with all your heart. ba? Diba? Tell, uh, tell me great and unsearchable things you never know. May mga bagay si Lord na ibinibigay sa atin na... Hindi mo may explain Pero si Lord lang talaga ang magsasabi at mag reveal ng plano ng niya sa atin. Sometimes you will question why. Why Lord? Why am in this kind of place? Why in this kind of situation? Why Lord? Pero sabi nga, you don't have the right to question the Lord. You just do His will. So sabi sa... Joshua 1.8, this is the book of law. You shall not depart from your, that shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate it day and night, that you may observe it as according to what's written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have a good success. So, meditate it day and night. Hindi lang sabi nga umaga. Hindi, hindi lang umaga, but meditate it day and night. Kaya nga, masarap na kinakausap natin si Lord eh. Pagising sa umaga, nag-drive ka, nahirapan ka sa trabaho, Lord, help me. Give me wisdom. When you come up to work at uh, sa bahay, salamat Lord kasi na-surpass na naman namin yung isang araw. ba diba? Sa tulong mo. So, kapag kinakausap natin si Lord, yun naman na delight Kaya nga, ito yung sinasabi eh. Delight. Nandun yung kagalakan mo. Hindi yung parang pag napoprostrate ka, natawag ka ng kolab, huwag tara, labas muna tayo kung sa saan na kayo pupunta. So nagkasala ka pa. Pero when you come up to the Lord, He's the one who encourages you. It's okay to be with friends. Sometimes nagkakameron ka ng pag-unwind, pero yung unwind naman na hindi ka uh, makakompromise, ba? Diba? So, Seek God first. Early in the morning is the best time. But whatever works for everyone, it's still the best time for the Lord. Kasi, importante dito is meeting up with the Lord. And be at your best. Kasi baka naman, 
pupunta ka sa Panginoon, yung antok na antok ka na. Yung pagbukas mo pa lang ng Bible, tulog ka na. Pampatulog mo pa lang palang Bible. Kaya pala nagbabible ka, pero pagbasa mo pa lang ng isang, ano, salamat Lord, <laughs> tulog ka na. But be at your best. It's important that we are at our best when we come up to God. Kasi kung naliligaw ka nga, you are at your best, di ba? Oh, si Kuya Randy na naligaw siya, he is at our best para kay Pastor Abeng. Eh si Lord, si Lord yun eh. Highest yun eh. Best of the best yun eh. So be at our best, di ba? Be is, hindi yung, it's, sometimes we come up to the Lord that we are broken and God understands it. But still, we come up to the Lord na, Lord, this is my heart. This is the state of my, the, this is my situation and I'm giving everything to you. Sometimes we will not be at our very best. Sometimes we will come up to the Lord in our brokenness. But God always delight the one who seek Him first. Hindi seek your friends first. Seek the counsel of other person, but seek him first. So, letter T is trust his wills. His wills. Hindi, hindi gulo nga. Trust his will and ways. Sabi sa Jeremiah 17, verse 5 to 8, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts and relies on mankind, making flesh his strength, and whose mind and heart turn away from the Lord. For he will be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see prosperity when it comes, but shall live in the rocky places of the wilderness in an inhabited salt land. But the person who trusts in the Lord said, Blessed is the man who believes and trusts in a relief and relies on the Lord and do, whose hope and confident expectation in the Lord. For he will be like a tree planted by waters that spreads out its roots by river and will not fear the heat when it comes, but its leaves will be green and moist, and it will, and it will not be anxious and concerned in a year drought, nor stop bearing fruit. So, na-download mo ba yung video, IB? <laughs> so, bag ititigil ko muna dito, kasi may papakita lang muna ako na, sim na short clip lang about trusting the Lord. I burned through everything. There's no rootstock left to, to replant.
Has it reached the inside? It's alive. It's alive. Las Lubas lives. bound to this land and to this family by commitment, by honor, and by love. Plant it. It will grow. Amen. Ano po nakuha niyo dun sa video? The root. ba? Diba? Um, yung isang matanda na nag, nag, nasunog, nag up na siya eh. Wala na, wala na natira. Actually, wealth nila yon, Yung vineyard na yon, From sa iba, ilang, ilang salin lahi, ilang salin lahi. Talagang, they harvest plentiful. But, tingnan nyo, sa isang iglap lang, All this vineyard were burned down. Walang natira. And bilang tao, wala na, wala na tayong pagkukuhaan. Wala na tayong ano, wala wala nang wala na tayong sisimulan. Pero one person did not give up. Si Keanu Reeves yun eh. <laughs> Bata pa siya doon. So, he did not give up. Kasi nung tinuro sa kanya as long as yung pinaka-root is buhay. Baka kapag mabubuhay uli yung vineyard. So, what he did is take, di ba, yung pinakamalaking ugat and check kung patay na rin ba talaga yung loob. Kaya importante eh, when you know, ito yung, ito yung nagrema sa akin dun, when you know where God planted you, be rooted. Di ba? Kasi kahit anong dumating na sitwasyon sa buhay mo at pinagkatiwala mo sa Panginoon, hindi ka mabubunot, hindi ka mamamatay, hindi ka mawawala. Amen? Kasi napakasimple lang nung video. Kaya sinabi niya, dito parang, there is life. Kasi yung na-burn lang pala doon is outer part ng vine. Kaya nga sinabi din ni Lord, even you go to the water, hindi ka malulunod. Dumaan ka man sa apoy, hindi ka masusunog. Dahil alam natin, nakasama natin ang Diyos. ba? Diba? So, trials will come. We cannot, we cannot um, uh, hindi natin mapipigilan ang pagdating ng pagsubok sa ating buhay. Pero, tandaan natin, even trials come, how are you going to face this kind of giants in our life? How are you going to stand up again? Kaya hinahayaan natin na lumalim tayo sa salita ng Panginoon. Hinahayaan natin na matuto tayo na magtiwala sa Panginoon. Because if these two basic things we will never understand at hindi natin maisa sa buhay, masusunog tayo, malulunod tayo sa problema. And later on, hindi na natin alam, hindi na tayo makaahon. But when we understand who God is in our life and where God planted you that you should bloom. Hindi ka mawawala. Hindi ka mawawala. Kaya kasi sinabi dito sa huli, for he will be like a tree planted by waters that spread out its roots by rivers and will not fear the heat when it comes. Ang heat, ito'y po yung mga pagsubok natin. But its leaves will, not, will be green and moist. Lagi kang buhay. Lagi kang masaya. Lagi kang may pag-asa. Lagi kang puno. Kahit dumating ang pagsubok, 
dahil rooted tayo sa Panginoon. Amen? So, letter A. Sabi pa dito sa Jeremiah 17, 5-8. Ay, hindi, yun na ngayon. Letter A, allow God's pruning and molding. Ito yung masakit. ba? Diba? John 15.2 says, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, He takes away. And every branch that continue to bear fruit, He prunes, that it will bear more fruit. Sabi nga dito, even richer and finer fruits. In Proverbs 3.12 says, The Lord corrects those He loves, just as Father corrects a child in whom He delights. So yung act daw ng pruning are done with love to help us grow into someone who reflects His character. Ganun naman eh, si Lord. Kapag mahal ka ng tao, i-kokorek ka talaga niya. Kasi ang tao na na mahal ka, ayaw ka niyang maligaw na landas. ba? Diba? And minsan masakit na ipurun tayo. Tanggalin ni Lord yung mga ayaw niya sa atin. And number one na minamald naman sa atin, character. Our character. Pero sinasabi nga natin na Lord, bakit mo ba ako binibigyan ng mga ganitong tao sa paligid ko? Pero sabi nga, don't pray for people to be changed, but pray for you to be changed. Because you will always, we will always be surrounded by people na pwede tayong matrigger uli kung sino tayo. Pero sabi nga, Lord, ako muna yung baguhin mo. It's that people that will change. Dahil kapag nakita ng tao na ikaw ang nabago, whatever they trying to do to you, ano pang gagawin ng kaaway sa'yo kung hindi ka na mag-react? ba? Diba? Ano pang kayang gawin ng enemy sa'yo? So, allow God's pruning. Hindi siya madali. Masakit siya most of the time. May mga tao na tatanggalin sa'yo. May bagay na, na importante, mawawala sa'yo. Pero, allow God. God, sabi nga dito, the path that takes us to promise is always, always have thorns. Nothing worth having ever comes easy or without opposition. Storm will come, lions roar, and fear will be confronted. But God allowed the path to be difficult because what He intends is to refine us and prepare us to a place that He promised. At saan ba yung pinramis ni Lord? Hindi ito yung pinramis ni Lord eh. Hindi ito yung mundo na pinramis ni Lord. Pero ang pinramis ni Lord is makasama natin siya. At ang sarap pakinggan sa Panginoon. Na well done my good and faithful servant. ba? Diba? Kaysa stay away from me because I do not know you. Lord, ginawa ko naman, naging mabuti ako. Naging blessing ako. Pero pag sinabi sa'yo ni Lord na hindi mo ginawa ang kalooban ko. Sakit yun. Pero yung tao na simple lang na ginagawa ang kalooban ng Panginoon, it's very pleasing to the Lord. And it gives Him great joy, overwhelming joy. Kaya nga, si Lord naman, God puts dreams in our heart and writes destiny in our lives. And if we trust Him enough to take Him, His word, we will find ourselves in a journey towards the fulfillment of our dream. At ang pinakapangarap naman ng bawat isang krisyano ay ang makasama ang ating Panginoon sa huli. Sabi nga tayo ay nasa nasa race. And mas masarap, mas masarap kapag nasa race, kapag may nadadapa kang kapatid, lip mo uli. ba? Diba? Pad, laging dapa ng dapa. Eh, paano ba ba pag dapa ng dapa? Pa, Paulit-ulit na nadadapa. Dala ka ng kabayo, hilahin mo na. <laughs> Hindi, joke lang. Pero, yeah, ano yun, marami talaga matigas ang ulo. So, let's pray for them. And si Lord naman, may way naman siya eh. Hindi natin way. Hindi natin, para, hindi natin paraan, kaparaanan ng Panginoon. Hindi natin time, time ng Lord. Amen. So, if we don't allow us to be prune, ba? Diba? Kapag, kaya nga, sinasabi yung, yung mga athlete, kailangan talaga, ano sila eh, parang praktisado lagi. Parang sila kuya kiel. ba? Diba? Praktisado na yan. 
So, kailangan nilang mag-undergo ng training lagi. Bakit? Because kapag dumating sila sa labanan na talaga, possible kung hindi sila nag-undergo ng training for proper diet, doon pwede silang ma-injured. ba? Diba? Pero ang tao na continuous, yung habit niya, yung, yung training or pruning, kahit ano, kahit ano pang sa baka niya laban, lalampasan niya yan, pagkatagumpayan niya yan. Di ba nga si Manny Pacquiao recently para may laban siya. Pero sabi nga, matanda na siya, pero he continues to, ang tawag dito, put, put his um, self in shape. Actually, na, nakakabless, hindi lang siya physically um, fit, but spirit, spiritually fit. Yun yung mas nakakabless sa kanya ngayon. So, number four is yield everything to God. Ano pa pag sinabi natin yield? To give up the control for something. Kasi without surrendering everything, sabi nga, nag-practice ka, nag-lahat ng lahat. Pero ano ba yung mga bagay na hindi mo sila surrender? Pagkain. ba? Diba? Mahirap yan. Pero surrender everything to the Lord. And sabi sa James 3.17, But the wisdom from above is first pure. Gen- uh, the, then peace-loving, gentle, reasonable, full of compassion and good fruits. It is unwavering without hypocrisy. In Jer- Kaya sinabi din dito sa Jeremiah 29.11, when we give everything to the Lord. Dahil, ito, si Lord yung nagsasabi nito sa atin, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, the plan to prosper you and not to harm you, a plan to give you hope in a future. So, Sino tayo para hindi pagkatiwalaan ng Panginoon? Kung siya yung nagbigay ng mismong buhay na meron tayo. ba? Diba? And ang gusto lang naman talaga ng Panginoon sa atin is we just don't, don't yung parang ang buhay natin, hindi lang dahil ginagamit ka ng Panginoon, you disciple other people, yes, God is pleased with that. But ikaw personally, how you became fruitful sa mata ng Diyos. Yung way ng pamumuhay natin. Ito yung pinaka-importanteng bunga na hinahanap ng Diyos sa atin. Kasi we can be a friends to a lot of people. We can bless a lot of people. But tandaan natin, at the end of the day, it's between you and God. What fruit does the Lord give you and how you prosper this kind of fruit in our life? This will be the question tonight. What kind of fruit we have in our life? How we take care of this fruit in our life? Paano natin imumultiply kung anong fruit na meron tayo? If God have given us talents, multiply this talent. ba? Diba? If God have blessed you financially, continue to be a blessing to other people. If God give you the gift in discipling, Continue to be used in evangelism, in discipling people. What gift or what kind of fruit are you? Dahil kailangan natin talagang maitanim sa lupa. ba? Diba? Ang seed naman, kailangan siyang mamatay muna. At kapag namatay ito, doon lang siya talaga bubunga eh. Doon siya tutubo. And ang nakaka lang din, no, parang sa isang tanim, ang dami-dami nitong bunga at ang ganda niyang tingnan. Kaya nga nung, yung, nung nireveal sa akin ito ni Lord, parang ganito pala yun, no, kahit solo ka, but when you became fruitful, galit na galit ang enemy kasi ang ganda mong tingnan. Ang ganda-ganda mong tingnan. Gusto ko niya laging, ang tawag dito, sa amin songkitin eh. Gusto ko niya laging tanggalan ng bunga. And how we protect our fruits if we are not rooted mismo sa Panginoon. If we are continuously relying on our strength, on our self, on our own wisdom, is that the fruit that God wants to see from us? But, sabi nga sa Galatian, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Ito yung mga gusto ni Lord na magprosper sa atin. Number one. So, Sa conclusion natin is in 1 Corinthians 
7 verse 20 and 24. Each one of you should remain in the condition which was God called you. Ano ba yung condition mo ngayon? ba? But sabi ni Lord, remain or stay. Stay in the condition you are right now because God is doing something in this state of yours or of us. Brothers, let us one remain with God in that condition in which He was called. And again, I said, remain. Remain in that condition. Paulit-ulit sasabihin na sa atin ng Panginoon na manatili ka, manatili ka, manatili ka. Pero most of the time, kapag nasaktan, tumatakbo. Pero salamat sa Panginoon sa pagtakbo mo, hinahabol pa rin tayo. If you're in the season of repining, lean in, trust the loving hand of your precious Savior. And know that He will lead you to the other side. The other side is the place where God is. Refuse a sense of entitlement and don't demand to be understood. Trust God even when circumstances look impossible to solve. And last is have faith that God loves you enough to resolve all your challenges. Every day is a challenge in our life. But sabi nga ni Lord, he loves us enough. Diba? And always remember that kind of love ay binigay sa atin. And remember, we have to start with God, stay with God, and ends with God. Yun lang po.